A new CDC coronavirus report outlines conditions that put you in what it describes as a high risk group. Some conditions are common and widespread. Tonight, Ada on Your Side speaks with top health experts to really break down the danger. Ada on Your Side, investigator Ma Society, she is live in the Tampa News Center with uh, more information to help kind of flush this out. Yes, yeah, so Stacy, the CDC says that they looked at the most reliable source of data here and they found the vast majority of coronavirus victims had multiple contributing conditions. Tonight, more than 183,000 Americans have died from coronavirus. The CDC looked at death certificates and found, quote, for 6% of the deaths, COVID-19 was the only cause mentioned. Dr. Scott Atlas is one of President Trump's top pandemic advisors. We asked him about this new report that 94% of victims had other health issues. Are you concerned that that headline could give people a false sense of security? Well, I, th I think this is a very important point. It's true. Uh, almost everyone really uh, has significant comorbidities. You have to look at the data and the, and the science in a sort of a detailed way. So what are the conditions that put you in extra danger? According to the CDC, it's respiratory diseases like influenza and pneumonia, circulatory diseases like cardiac arrest and heart failure, but it's also common issues like diabetes and obesity. Underlying conditions like high blood pressure is extremely common. Dr. John Green is the chief of infectious diseases at Moffitt. He says in each of these categories, there's a spectrum of risk. Well, there's different degrees of poorly controlled diabetes. It's going to be a worse outcome than someone who's meticulous and well controlled. The big question, if there's multiple causes of death, can you put the blame on coronavirus? Did they die of their heart disease or did they die of COVID-19? Well, they died of both, but if they didn't have COVID-19, there's a great chance they wouldn't have died. And on average, the CDC says that COVID victims have two or more of these contributing conditions. So Stacey, it's not just one thing. So I think what got a lot of people's attention is that 94%, that's a huge number of those who died of COVID-19 had an underlying condition. So what about the other 6%? So Dr. Green says that perfectly healthy people can die from this virus too. We've seen that. And he says that it depends on how your genes respond to the infection and also how much of the virus that you're exposed to. Yeah, that viral load they talk about. All right, thanks, Masa Saidi, live in the Tampa News Center. And if you have something you would like Masa to investigate, call our 8 on your side helpline at 800-338-0808.